What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Twisted Life and TV. This is day four of Vlogmas. Day four. Don't ask me what's going on with my hair. Well, I'll tell y'all anyway. I had started to do the two strands, and then I ran out of time. I realized I had to be at work, so I stopped. But so let's get into the vlog Vlogmas celebrations. I, I thought my videos was gonna be more about Christmas, but it, you know, sometimes they're just gonna be all over the place. But speaking of Christmas. I got a gift. I got a gift in the mail. I got a gift. I don't. When I received it, I was like, "What is? What's this for?" You know? Because normally, like people, y'all will send me gifts and stuff. If I be like, "Oh, I want to get this," but I just got a little random gift. And guess who it's from? Miss Cat Harlem, one of the channel subscribers, one of the fam, one of the lifers. Hey, girl, hey. Yeah, she sent me this little trinkets. I don't know if she just know that I like trinkets, but I like trinkets, so yeah. So, it was intimate. First of all, I love the little bags. I love little velvet bags. I love those. It just I like stuff like that, crazy. So, in it, I got these little, um, first of all, I love the color. I just hit that, I just hit that break real hard. I love the color. But then I got these little pandemic little thingamajigamies. I don't even know what to call them. They ornaments. They're ornaments, y'all. They can go on a tree, but I ain't got a tree. I ain't got a tree. This one is 2020. The COVID pandemic, the struggle was real. And you see how the zero is the toilet paper. Man, toilet paper was running out like crazy when the pandemic first happened. It got a little string so I can hang it up on my tree or wherever I want to hang it at. <laughs> yeah, this is too cute. Man, I remember... Um, Sean, who's now known as Wings and Mumbo Sauce on the channel, she actually had to send me a box of toilet paper, y'all. She had to send me a box of toilet paper because we couldn't find any here in Orlando. My butt was like, I got a, I got a roll left. I got a square left. You know what I'm saying? Just like, yeah. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sean, for that. And then she sent me one for 2021 because we are still in the pandemic. And this one here is the, with the little needle. Get your vaccines. The COVID a pandemic vaccine needle. The, the needle rip. This is so cute. This is so cute. Thank you, Cat Harlem. I appreciate it. I love little trinkets and stuff like that, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. I love it. I love it. I love it. Speaking of the fact that I don't have no tree, let's talk about <laughs> trees. Somebody, um, my boy Glenn Martin, y'all may know him on Twitter. I don't even remember how we got cool. I just, but we got cool. We got cool in the mud. That's attractive, man. I cannot get the, the condensation off the window. Anywho, he sent, uh, he posted up the question, Christmas trees, real or fake, and why? So I'm going to ask that to y'all. For When y'all do Christmas and y'all decorate for Christmas, do y'all want a real tree or a fake tree? And why? I'm going to tell you my reasons why. Fake. Give me fake. I don't like too much of fake stuff, but give me fake. I don't need to have no brand name. I consider real trees brand name. I don't need to have no brand name tree. First of all, I am not too keen on the smell of pine. People love pine. I'm not really that keen on the pine song. It had to, how Alice be on there like, it's all smelling good. No. Give me the lemon scented pine saw. The lavender scented pine saw. But I can't do that pine smell. It uh uh feel like I'm in the damn forest, evergreen forest with all the dog on pine needles. It pine needles be everywhere, just falling all over the floor, getting into your feet. Cause I like to walk barefoot around my house, getting into your feet. And if you got on socks, stick it on the bottom of your socks, and you gotta keep sweeping that up and vacuuming it up, and then get stuck in your vacuum and clogging. No, I don't like the pine needles. I don't want those. I don't want those. I don't want those. I don't want those. On top of the fact, I got a dog. Dogs like pissing on trees. Just pissing on trees. Dogs like no. I have a cat. Cat like climbing trees. It's a too many negatives for me to have a real tree. Too many negatives. And then on top of that, I have a daughter who don't respond to fire properly. I really need to take this down. I'll start a two straight. It look kind of weird. It look kind of cute, but kind of weird at the same time. Oh well. Anyway, I, um. I have a daughter that don't respond to fire well. So let me tell you this story about Kena. One day, 
I was in my bedroom, chilling, chillaxing. Her and my little niece was in the kitchen, hooking up some TV dinners. Well, one of these TV dinners, I think it was a banquet one, they gave you like a brownie. The brownie was wrapped inside plastic. Well, my daughter decided not to take the brownie out of the plastic. And it kind of caught on fire inside the microwave. Smoke. Error. Error, y'all. What did they do? They got themselves a safety. Did any of them come knock on my bedroom door and say, hey, mama, we got smoke. You know what I'm saying? Nobody did that. They was just going to leave me there to die in the smoke fire in annihilation. And then yesterday, in the middle of the day, my daughter's a lot older now. She was a lot younger then. She's a lot older now. She's grown now. You know what I'm saying? She almost a quarter of a century years old. Grown. She calls me up in the middle of the day and say, Ma, the fire alarm was going off in the house. I was like, is it still going off? Because about the thing is like, get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? She's like, no, it just went on for a long time. I don't know what it was for. I just want to call you and let you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking, Kina, you heard smoke detector go off. You get out. She's like, I didn't see no smoke, so I didn't leave. It could have been another apartment on fire, and then it could have came over and caught you. You know what I'm saying? Something. I'm starting to think maybe it was a fire drill. Because this morning I walked out of the apartment and there was a fire department was across the road again. And it was a lot of people standing outside. Maybe it was a fire drill. I don't know. Or maybe it was a real fire. But if you heard a fire alarm go off, you're not supposed to lay in the bed and say, well, I don't see no smoke. I ain't going nowhere. So, no, we can't have no real tree. Because you put them damn lights on the tree and then you're starting to water it or whatever. And... <laughs> And then, or if you don't water it like you're supposed to, like we don't water our plants. We water our plants maybe once every two weeks or something like that. We don't water like we're supposed to. And then that motherfucker catch on fire. No ma'am, Pam on the real trees. No ma'am, Pam on the real trees. But truth be told, I can't even have a fake one right now. But I prefer a fake one over anything. And I can't have a fake one for almost some of the same reasons. The dog and the cat. Have not had a Christmas tree since Vito came. <sighs> Actually, since we got the cat, I have not had a Christmas tree. Because the cat can chew up the tinsel and it makes them sick. Our cats, I think most cats are like this. They see flashing red lights. They won't attack it. So I can't decorate, you know, with the lights. And the just, because the cat won't attack the tree. And again, they may want to climb it. Just because it's there. It go up, they want to climb. But then once we got that damn dog... He was a rambunctious little fucker when we first got him. He used to chew up everything. Mug chewed up my dog on shoes, chewed up a Keena's retainer. The dog chews up everything. And Vito is wild. He likes to bounce around and do all kinds. He knock it over every time. Crit balls just falling off the tree, ornaments breaking. He's, I can't have a tree no more. I so badly want to put up a tree again, but the dog and the cat is not going to let me be successful with that. But if I had to put one up, for sure, for sure, for sure, it's going to be fake, mama. Fake tree. But I used to have a at least a fake fireplace. I used to have a fake fireplace. And I would hang my stockings because we didn't have a chimney. I So I hang my stockings and stuff on the fake fireplace. And then, like, everybody, the dog, the cat, Kenan and me, my mama, we all had, like, a stocking and everything. And so, like, ornaments like these I would hang on the fireplace. But I don't have a fireplace right now. I don't even have a home right now. <laughs> I'm in this apartment that I got to be out of Thursday. You know, people was like, how come you haven't decorated your apartment? It ain't mine. It ain't mine. Oh, maybe, I don't know where we'd be at by Christmas time. I don't know where we'd be at by Christmas time. But y'all let me know in the comment section whether y'all prefer a real Christmas tree. When did you go chop down? And then y'all out here killing trees. I'm saying just killing trees just for decoration once a year. What y'all doing with the tree? Y'all recycling? Y'all changing it to paper? You know, what y'all doing with the trees? What y'all... Just killing trees for no reason. But some of y'all, if y'all like the, the real tree, let me know your reason why y'all like the real tree. And if you can tell me a short story behind it, you know, 
you know, something about you used to go out in the woods with your daddy and y'all would look for the biggest tree. Something, you know, just something. You know, is it short and sweet because this is the comment section? I don't know. Y'all can type as much as y'all want for real. I just realized that some people be typing books in the comment section. Y'all can type as much as y'all want. Give me a little story about why you like a fake tree or a real tree. Or do you have both? Some people have both. Y'all y'all bougie like that when y'all got two trees. You know what I'm saying? Bougie like that. And I mean, I, I even downsized to the little tabletop tree. Can't do that no more either. Can't do that no more either. Only thing I got now is Black Santa. That's the only thing I got in my house now Christmas Eve is Black Santa and my new ornaments from Cat Harlem. I'm saying. But I'm at work, y'all. This has been Vlogmas Day number four. I kind of like doing Vlogmas because it reminds me of what the date is. <laughs> Real talk. It reminds me of the date. This day four, this is the 4th of December. So, and I think I'm going to do... I don't know. I may do vlogmas just for the 12 days. 12 days of Christmas. I don't know. What is the 12 days of Christmas? Um, The next video, I'm probably going to break down a Christmas song. You know what I'm saying? We did Rudolph already explaining what Rudolph was going on in his story. I might break down another day. I might break down the 12 days of Christmas song. Because I don't understand it half the damn time. Okay. Ready to love. Video coming on Sunday. And everything else, you know, it's gonna start to resume. I know I in Money Heist, I did not watch it on purpose, y'all. Y'all weren't finna get me hyped up last night. Y'all weren't finna get me hyped up last night. But I'm on my way to work. I'm about to pull into the parking lot. I'll talk to y'all again soon. This has been Vlogmas Day 4. Peace.